11 to 17 are short word answers 11. What is average blood pressure? 12. When performing the bedpan skill, what do you do after placing a chuck pad under the patient? 13. What washcloth method do you use when cleaning a female catheter? 14. When changing a occupied bed, what do you do after tucking in the flat sheet? 15. When performing the blood pressure skill, when deflating the cuff what will signal the systolic pressure? 16. Whenever moving a patient in the standing position what do you always ask them? 17. Can you discuss one patient's information with another patient? 18 to 20 long resmosis 18. When cleaning the catheter how many passes do you make on the catheter? Explain the process as best as possible. 19. Explain, in order, what general body areas do you clean during a partial bed bath? 20. Name things you would not do while performing a skill that have been covered within the course. This can be anything covered within the course. Hi there and thank you for the question. I am a registered nurse and will be happy to help you today. I answered this just a few moments ago on your other post. Let me know if you do not see it. I'll post again here in case you don't see it. On number 13, I do not know what they are speaking of when they say washcloth method. The only thing I can think of that they are talking about is you only wiping the genitals once when cleaning the genital area for example. You would wipe the left side of the female genitalia then turn your washcloth over, then wipe the right side and then turn the washcloth over again and then wipe down the middle front to back. Never use the washcloth side that is dirty to wipe over and over again. This helps to prevent infection. 11 to 17 are short word answers 11. What is average blood pressure? 120 80 12. When performing the bedpan skill, what do you do after placing a chuck pad under the patient? You help the patient onto the bedpan 13. What washcloth method do you use when cleaning a female catheter? See above, 14. When changing a occupied bed, what do you do after tucking in the flat sheet? You place the bedspread on the bed and make sure the bed is in the lowest position with the call light in reach. Also ask the patient if they would like the flat sheet loosened up a bit so that their feet are not flexed downward. 15. When performing the blood pressure skill, when deflating the cuff what will signal the systolic pressure? The systolic pressure is the number on the blood pressure monitor when you begin hearing the heartbeat in the stethoscope 16. Whenever moving a patient in the standing position what do you always ask them? If 1, if they can stand okay and 2, if they are dizzy, if so, help them to sit back down, 17. Can you discuss one patient's information with another patient? Absolutely not 18 to 20 long rhysmosis 18. When cleaning the catheter how many passes do you make on the catheter? Explain the process as best as possible. Only one pass. Once you pass over one area of the 19. Explain, in order, what general body areas do you clean during a partial bed bath? The face, the neck, the arms and hands, the chest, the armpits, the back, 
then peri care. Wash the front of the genitals before you wash the buttocks and anal area. 20. Name things you would not do while performing a skill that have been covered within the course. This can be anything covered within the course. You may have to add to these but just from the questions you have provided, I got these just from your questions. Never raise the catheter bag level with the patient or above the patient. Never talk about others' health information to other patients or visitors. Never wash the dirty areas of the body than the cleanest parts, like the face slash eyes. Never use honey or sweetie or other terms of endearment with your patients. 1 to 10 true or false 1. Always check the patient's eye. D. After washing your hands. 2. It's okay to call a patient honey. 3. You can hang a bladder bag anywhere as long as it's lower than the patient. 4. Never roll a patient on their weak side. 5. Always use a barrier towel when setting your supplies somewhere. 6. Hen performing the range of motion skill always do two repetitions of each exercise. 7. When emptying a urinary bag it's not okay to touch the drainage tube on the graduated cylinder. 8. There's no wrong way to take off gloves. 9. Always roll linens down and away from the patient. 10. When dressing a patient with a one-sided weakness dress the weak side first. You should already have these. I posted these earlier. I'll post them here again. 1 to 10 is true or false 1. Always check the patient's eye. D. After washing your hands. True, you should wash your hands before and after, too. It's okay to call a patient honey. False, never refer to your patients with terms of endearment. 3. You can hang a bladder bag anywhere as long as it's lower than the patient. False, hanging the bag from a catheter even with the patient or higher can cause the urine to flow back into the bladder causing potential infection. 4. Never roll a patient on their weak side. True 5. Always use a barrier towel when setting your supplies somewhere. True 6. When performing the range of motion skill always do two repetitions of each exercise. True 7. When emptying a urinary bag it's not okay to touch the drainage tube on the graduated cylinder. True, I'm assuming they are talking about the very end of the tubing where the urine comes out to be emptied you shouldn't touch the opening end of the tubing, 8. There's no wrong way to take off gloves. False 9. Always roll linens down and away from the patient. True 10. When dressing a patient with a one-sided weakness dress the weak side first. True. If you have a health question and want to chat with a doctor now, visit justanswer.com slash yt health.